Well, hello guys, this is Zorlak, and today we're talking about cash, T side, and getting mid control. Well, mid control, you obviously can go through mid itself, you know, to main gate or garage or how you want to call it or boost okay let's talk about meat so if you think about rushing it i like to rush like this you will find it a little bit awkward but that's how i like to rush okay they will obviously smoke and then i'll go to the smoke i flash in and i go through this smoke i always use people don't like it that well but it's basically to protect me from this face right here okay because uh, an awp can just come here let, let the smoke go through and I'll explain you, okay? The smoke is off. They, they just smoke here and the AWP is just waiting for me to go out of their own smoke, right? So no one on the boost can see him, so it's just an easy shot for him. And that this is why I, I use my smoke on here. And this is actually why I don't like to use my smoke over on Z or something like this, because the AWP can just adapt to that smoke easily. And, you know, I just leave my smoke for this type of protections. So we're already out with one smoke and one flash. If you want to go out slowly and they smoke mid, you can just send this smoke right here, okay? For example, because they are smoking here and this will make you go here without any problem. You understand? So just memorize this smoke and from here, you can actually flash here too and make a living hell out of, that, of, of this side, okay? Jesus, did I went through the... Oh, no, this was the smoke. The flash is here. Okay. You can just go like this and attack this side. I don't like it. I just like to take some one-way smoke here. At lower ranks, it will always work until you're like... You know, maybe, maybe level face it like level 6 or something. It will work, but above that, or 7. But above that, it will get a little bit trickier. And this type of play, I'm not that good into it, okay? Uh, I, it's not that certain, you know? Oops, let me just put myself on the boost. Okay, we are on the boost. So, the thing about the boost is that you need to think about something very, very important, which is, are you alone on the boost or, or are you with someone else? So, basically, normally, boost gets first control while mid just holds uh, mid pushes from CTs and then when the, when the boost starts to work, the mid guy helps and makes second contact. Okay, that's why I didn't talk that much about the mid guy. All right, but aside from that, the boost is very simple. So one way of controlling your boost, it's like going this until you reach this place and then you just go, you know, you just stop crouching. Okay. Okay, this is a way to do it. Then you can simply also take this angle, which is pretty good. If you're with an eagle or something, it just makes them go for the headshot while you can go for the headshot, which is pretty good with the eagle, right? And then you can just clean these angles, care, care a little bit here, okay? Now, when you come here, always take care of that place. I like to Molotov right now, you know? I always like to... It's easy to get the Molotov. Did you see that, uh, end, that thing there in the wall? You know, this column right here? Just get the Molotov there before you get to shocks, okay? So take care of the guy from the sandbags, okay? And then you can get shocks, then you can control this, and don't you ever forget to control this, okay? Care about Vince too, but, well, when you control shocks, you, you control Vince at the same time, right? This is how I like to go out in mid if I am alone. If you are not alone, though, you need to open. So you need to open with your teammate. So I just open here, prepare the Molotov while my teammate is here, uh, uh, you know, ready to help me. If I see something here which I want because I'm too f I'm too hidden, the guy will just be some on on an angle of something like this. If I don't see anything from this angle, you know, I'll just prepare the Molotov. If I see something. You know, I just fight and open so my friend can see that I'm shooting there and can open too, you know, and help me. Aside from that, just mollow, help yourselves, and then you just open a lot alone. So the second guy can open next to you and help you, okay? Maybe if you guys do, the, do this uh, correctly, you will probably trade each other or even, even better, you know, just save each other. You know, you save the first contact, which is great. 
sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. So, we just got control of boost, we just controlled everything. Um, I can give you like some spam here. I don't know. Uh, we can uh, spam here. Where is it? Something like this. Okay, this will burn the the, the sandbags uh, before you get to the boost. And you can also, you know, make this a thing, I think, if I remember correctly. I think it's like this. And then you just... Mm, it's not good, I think it's not good. Oh, it's good. All right, it's okay. See? So you can actually use the Molotovs before the, the two the two of your guys go outside of boost but this is more to play with the clan this is not very useful this is just me you know showing off basically because uh, this is not very useful for you to play on your mixed teams and to rank up and to play pugs this is just good for you to make executes with your team and you don't need me uh, to show you this when we'll, we will take care of that when we when we see executes from pro teams and we start to put that content into into the channel because that's going to be the main content of this channel it's going to be review of simple tactics you know just how to copy one tactic from each team for example on any other map so uh, aside from that you need to work on your entries because getting control of mid it's not that hard right you can also you know put the wall of smokes which are pretty easily to do no, right you can just uh, put the wall of smokes the wall of smokes are pretty easy you just send them from here to there and from here to there okay and the, the wall of smokes is is pretty cool so anyway um th this is where you need to work okay so you need to care about here and you then need to care about here right this angle then you need to care about this place okay because this is this can be a menace because they can have the, the, the crosshair on your head. It's not easy. So if you have a Molotov to put there, you can put it, okay? If you have a smoke to put there, eh, that's a good time to put it, okay? Because it's not the best uh, the best face at all, okay? So you just need to hug the wall, okay? So you don't jump too high, you understand? Just hug it and you press control and, well, good luck. All right, so you need to learn how to flash, you know. I flash from, uh, I think I flash from here. Not sure. Yeah, I flash from here. As you can see, this is the flash. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. You can actually, but there are a lot of plants that just flash to the air. And they just tell, hey, turn yourself, turn your backs because I'm flashing to the air. And the terrorists will just go from here you know the flash goes out and he has a lot of time to do this so it's not a, a bad flash whatsoever it's not that hard okay obviously re-smoking here is important you always use the molotov here before showing yourself to shocks very important too just be able to flash for each other to get your picks here if you're playing alone you can jump you know you can jump from here to here oh no jesus i'm bad i hesitated between uh, jumping from uh, there to there hmm. okay it's a pretty standard and easy jump okay and uh, this is this can su uh, surprise one guy on uh, on white box and obviously you can just go and n2 no noise too to just take info here but obviously you need to smoke it properly right you need to smoke z and then take contact then take contact of quad and shit and stuff like that you just get your your stiff your stuff together so you got meat and then you need to evolve meat to vents right meat to z or meat to highway so or or lurk lurk normally they hug there and they stay there until something happens on a and then they provoke if either they are there or they get a little bit cockier like they are trying to get to peaks here it doesn't happen they just try to face here nothing happens this just take a look at, at, sh at shocks always uh, always look at shroud not shock sorry uh, shroud and then they normally just come here they stay here okay while their team executes a and uh, you know the guy that flashed for him just rotates he goes a with the team and you have a lurker on the electric box which is very very good to go b you obviously need 
uh, a lurker in B and you need you need the lurker in B to for example play sneaky beaky and uh, then just flash for you okay very important for you guys to share flashes with each other so this is how you get out of uh, of the defense pretty easily okay so you just ask for the flash and boom there you go if you are afraid of that don't be afraid of uh, putting the molotov there with the coverage of uh, with the cover of I, I say coverage i don't know why man it's it's portuguese um with the cover of your teammate just make sure you go to b right and it's pretty easy if you want to go mid to a well basically that's what we did here there are a lot of setups that you can do here you can put smoke smoke at car right oh jesus what happened oh that was really unfortunate Look at me, man. Jesus. How can I nail that? Wow. That was really unfortunate. Okay. So you can put smoke at car. Okay. You can actually put smoke inside bomb side. Okay. Which is pretty good too. Okay. It has no gaps. And basically that's it. Well, there's a lot of things. You can actually smoke here to plant the bomb here. You know, to just jump here and plant the bomb here and defend it from highway there's a lot of things to do a lot of different setups not very helpful if you're playing in a pug in a pug basically just get your entries get mid control make them lose control of mid and then be smart in terms of first contact through whatever place you want to go or second contact depending on the position of your teams of your team and you should read if your team is attacking a it's important for you to just lurk to get the second contact it you will get uh, easy frags always let the number make the first contact so if you have three guys going somewhere those are the guys attacking first when you're playing a pug keep it simple and then if you're alone you will attack on the second contact and have an easier job but still destroy the round you're not baiting or anything you're getting control of mid you're trying to get some entries you already got control of mid but when you are developing to the bomb side just be a little careful especially if you go back if you go away okay aside from that i think it's i, I think uh, well there are things important here too sometimes you need to mollow here okay just to you know just to protect you from people below boost or boosting themselves what can i talk what, what can i tell you more if you are rushing boost or rushing mid just flash the hell out of it right as the as the round starts okay just keep them flowing while you boost two guys one guy is prepared mid one guy is boosting two and you're just making it rain you understand that's really important and so it is uh, it, it's uh, it's also important that the guy in the mid does the same so it's just so many flashes that they just cannot play aggro they need to you basically this move this uh, this uh, utility like this uh, four flashes of that right off the bat they will just give you control of the of the mid by itself hmm. another more more important things on mid i think that's all we already went out in rush we, we went out for the left side for the left side for the right side we went boost alone we went boost with someone else mm -hmm. and then on the development we need we need flash to get control of shakers uh, the flash comes from b toxic yeah we need flash to get uh, control of highway or to pick something in highway that flash uh, comes from close to vents there are there are molotovs that are really important important uh, um, sandbags need to be molotov all the time okay all the time i like to molotov them like i told you oh jesus that's bad this is not my day okay um i like to molotov them before i even do this okay before i contest here contest here and even this i like to molotov them and it's not that hard okay as you can see it's pretty easy to molotov it perfectly okay so basically that's it i hope you guys liked it i hope you try to use this type of plays um and it's like i said man getting mid uh, contacting mid it's pretty easy just care a little bit about the awps okay but there there shouldn't be a lot of problems uh, for you to deal here um getting control of mid it's basically aim versus aim many plays are correct um and yeah the problem is then adapting getting mid and doing something with it 
okay but you just need to read tactically what your team is about to do and basically that's it okay so don't freak out mid it's very easy to attack okay so just keep it up uh, keep trying uh, get better on your crosshair placement on your first bullets you know because many of these engages are medium to long range so your aim your aim uh, your first bullets are very important on those AKs to just make sure you win those duels and basically that's it all right guys so don't freak out about mid next movie I'm going to send you guys to the channel um, it's going to be about A A it's much more tricky it has way more tricks and uh, a lot of different behaviors so for the mid of cash i think this is enough okay guys good luck on your games thanks for following the channel and i'll see you on the next video bye bye